Ladies, thank you so much. And gals and everybody else, thank you so much for tuning in to Carol's Daily Sauce. Uh, today is Sunday, and normally I do not uh, film on Sunday other than my happy Sunday. Um, but I wanted to come back, and I believe if you've already seen my... Excuse me, I'm talking like I have a list. If you've already seen my Sunday, Happy Sunday live video, you know that I was looking much more glamorized than I am now. I took off all the makeup, so it's just Carol for real. I even put these on just to get on because I wasn't going to even have on any ear earrings. But do me a favor. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to be notified of every time I upload. And tell everybody that you know about this lady, Carol's Daily Sauce, that likes to bring good content out for you guys. Um, I don't have a niche. My niche is whatever I want it to be for the day. Um, I do cook with me's. I do, I do cook with me's. I do reaction videos. I do uh, re reviews from products. I do whatever it is that I want to do because it's Carol's Daily Sauce. It's my channel. I can do that. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be talking about Monique. And I keep turning around because I'm burning up and every time my husband comes in here for some unknown reason he wants to readjust the fan. I don't understand it but I'm gonna go ahead and just let it be like that and hopefully I don't pass out from exhaustion. That's an exaggeration, you guys. Um, anyway, uh, so I did all my salutations and all that good stuff. Um, what I'm going to be discussing today is none other than Monique. Yes, Monique, the comedian who, in my book, uh, is one of the best female comedians around. Um, however, some of her practices and uh, things that she's done lately have been very questionable unto me. Now, I know that I am probably going to get a whiff of all that, beat with a whiff of all that, beat with comments. beat with this and beat with that but I will tell you this um, my skin has gotten a lot thicker because I do reaction videos and people have a tendency to feel like if they don't agree with you that they can um, cyber bully and beat you beat you with their words uh, the one thing I want you to know is this I am very, very positive, a very, very positive individual. I don't tolerate a lot of negative. And simply speaking, you can come to me and say whatever it is that you want to say. But if you want to continue to come here, you need to be careful what you say. I just want to let you know to trade. Because if you don't trade lightly, you won't be able to trade any other time. There's a couple of other people. Uh, that came to me uh, with reaction videos that I did who took the things that I said so completely personal when your folks that you rah 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 for are the ones who put their business out there just like Monique so we're gonna go ahead and talk about Monique really really quick as I said Monique the one who um, uh, was on the Queens of Comedy. She had a sitcom where she was in love with, uh, I forgot the name of the guy's name, but you guys know who I'm talking about, Monique, the one that lost a lot of weight. She looks wonderful. The comedian, I bet you guys will know who I'm talking about now, who hasn't worked in a very long time because of her mouth, okay? Okay, first of all, as I said before, I know I'm going to get hate comments. I know I'm going to get all kinds of stuff said to me. Bring it on, but guess what? You're not going to remain on my page. I'm not going to deal with a lot of cursing at me and disrespect towards me because I don't do it to other people. I'm just basically giving my opinion. 
If your opinion is an opinion that has to be given with words that are unfavorable to me, you will be blocked. That's just it. Um, so, what I think is going on with Monique is something deeper than what she's saying. When this situation first came out, there was a white comedian who was getting paid more money than Monique, and Monique was upset because Netflix wanted to pay her, paid her a certain amount, and they didn't want to pay her as much. I don't know why. I can't honestly say it's because Monique is African American and the other lady is Caucasian. I can't say that. Personally, in my opinion, Monique is funnier than her. But I don't think that we can say it's because black and white. I, 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 I don't. I, I really just don't think we can say that because we really don't know. Perhaps Netflix was not looking for the same exact special with Monique as they were as they had with the other white comedian, female comedian. With that being said, I personally think there are more things troubling and dealing with Monique other than what she's saying. So what brings me here today to talk about this is I saw a video uh, where she had went on The View and I'm assuming this has been within the last uh, week or so. She had went on the show, The View, the show where Barbara Walters is on, uh, Whoopi Goldberg, and they changed so much. It's two other people that are on there. And um, supposedly, from what Monique says, when she went into Whoopi Goldberg's dressing room and was discussing all kinds of things with Whoopi Goldberg, Monique became offended because Whoopi Goldberg has been with The View for 10 years and isn't being paid enough. Now, my question to Monique is, why is that any of your business? Why is that any of your business? Um, it seems to me that Monique wants every black comedian to boycott um, every aspect of the entertainment uh, industry um, because they're not doing what it is that we want them to do or they, the comedian, comedians want them to do. Um, as a grown woman, I personally don't feel like Monique should think that everybody is going to just jump on her bandwagon because she feels a certain way. You can't expect someone who's been working at a job for 10 years and enjoying their job to quit their job because you don't feel like they're paying you enough. Now, I don't know if you guys know it or not, but Monique's net worth for 2019 is $13 million. That's why I tell everybody, it is nothing wrong with making money. Hustle and do whatever you can that is legal to make your money. Look, you know what? My uh, cash app at one time was called, multiple. my cash app name was called multiple streams of income, okay? Because at one time, I was doing a whole bunch of different things and I wanted to be able to have that cash app so that whenever I needed someone to pay me, they would always remember multiple streams of income and they, I'd be able to get my money. So I, I totally understand one wanting to be gainfully employed. I totally understand one wanting to keep their job. I just have a problem with Monique because it just seems like because she's been blackballed, because she has, she's been blackballed by the entertainment uh, industry because of her mouth, okay? Um, Monique has attacked not only 
Caucasian com uh, comedians. She's attacked Oprah Winfrey. She's attacked uh, Lionsgate Entertainment. She's also attacked uh, Steve Harvey. And she's uh, attacked Whoopi Goldberg. And she's also attacked, I wrote all of the people down that she actually attacked, Tyler Perry. Now, Tyler Perry and Oprah, Oprah Winfrey are big wigs in the entertainment industry. And so is Lionsgate, okay? And so is Netflix. So when you start attacking these really big uh, companies and really big names within the entertainment industry, you in fact make a name for yourself as a troublemaker. I personally now think, even though she is an amazing comedian, I now look at Monique as a troublemaker. Now, what supposedly happened when she went on The View uh, in Whoopi Goldberg's dressing room is Whoopi Goldberg told her how much money she made and she got upset because she didn't feel like they were paying Whoopi Goldberg what she was worth. Because you know, Monique has been on that. She's been on that for the last few years and been blackballed as a result of it. Somebody that is watching this needs to tell me what is really going on with Monique. What do you feel is going on with Monique? Um, supposedly, in Monique's conversation with Whoopi Goldberg, Whoopi Goldberg was supposedly to have said, don't worry about the little people that are coming up. And Monique in turn said to her, well, if that's the case, what about Etta James? And she started naming all of these well-known black people who fought for our rights, who fought for us to be able to be um, just as important as Caucasian uh, um, men and women in the industry, entertainment industry and out. In this particular video that I, well, I actually watched two, and another one where she was with Steve Harvey, she was going off on Steve Harvey because she said that she felt like he kind of threw her out to the wolves because instead of um, agreeing with her, and that's what Monique seems that she wants everybody to do, is to agree with her. But you know what? One of the things that I can definitely tell you is this. People will not, cannot, shall not always agree with you. They will not. They will not. But the one thing that you have to be able to accept and realize is that be mature uh, enough to agree to disagree. And that's the part that Monique is not getting. Monique and her husband, Sydney, think since they feel a certain way that every African American person is supposed to feel the same way because they're paying the white comedian more money than they're paying the African American. That's not always so. There are a lot of white actors, there are a lot of white, uh, excuse me, there are a lot of black actors, a lot of black actresses that are being paid much more money than their white counterparts. It just depends on what they are looking for. And I'm sorry, Moni, because of all the trouble that you have started, a lot of people aren't looking for you. So she's on this video and she's crying to Steve Harvey and she said, um, she's not only crying, she acting up. And she's, t she's saying that um, she doesn't understand, you know, why the brothers and sisters is doing this and why Steve did this. And Monique has got to get a grip because if Monique don't get a grip, she's never going to work ever again. Now, mind you, I, I, I don't even know what it feels like to have half of a million. She got 13 million. So maybe... She don't need to ever work again, but I can tell you this much. When, and I was talking to my husband about this, I was telling my husband about this, and this is a very example. People always think,
you have to do money, 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 money. When I was younger, they called me a Jamaican because baby, before I had my children, I had two and three jobs at a time. I was working at Target and I was working at uh, uh, a uh, dry cleaners. Uh, then I was working at Rayleigh's uh, supermarket store and I was working at a hospital as a dietitian aide. So it's it's nothing wrong with having more than one source of income. It's nothing wrong with that, but money is not everything. And I, my husband and I were in a very detailed conversation on last week about money and how people look at money. And if you don't know, now you will know, I'm very, very, um, I live by the Bible, um, so, I'm going to quote the scripture. The Bible says that money is the root of all evil. A lot of people say money is the root of evil. Money is the root. They change it all kinds of ways. But the Bible says money is the root of all evil. Meaning people will sell their souls. They'll sell you. They'll sell me. They'll sell their husband, their wives, and everything for money. But what we have to understand is though we need money to pay our bills, though we need money to buy the things that we need, Money is not the key to happiness. Money is not the key to happiness. Prime example, Robin Williams. Um, I can't, I, every time I start thinking about people who have literally blown their brains out, um, um, who were very rich people. Um, there was a black singer I wish my husband, he popped his head in here a little while ago. But there, you know, people end up committing suicide because they can't deal with, they have a tendency to think that money will bring about happiness, and it doesn't. This situation with Monique is ridiculous. She definitely, definitely needs to get a grip because Monique is being looked at as being a difficult person. Okay? She says that she's not difficult. She's just power. You know, she's just, her and Sydney, her husband, are just powerful people. So, Monique won an Oscar in 2010. I believe when she won the Oscar, I believe it was for the movie Precious. She did an amazing job. But, just as Steve Harvey said, Monique has burned so many bridges. And she's doing a disservice to herself. Um, when she went on and was saying that she was going to boycott uh, Netflix and how we all should boycott Netflix... She's never been the same ever since. We haven't seen her in anything. Every time we see her, she's either on Periscope doing a workout video or she's bickering about how much money somebody has been paid and they only offered her this. So my question to Monique, is she going to go through the rest of her life wondering why someone was paid more money than her? Because it's nothing wrong with you feeling like you're worth more than the next person. It's nothing wrong with that. But just because you think you're worth more than the next person or you should be paid more than the next person doesn't necessarily mean that others do. Monique is attacking people, she's harassing people, and I need to know when it's going to end. Because I've gotten to the point to where I won't even look at her. If I see her, I just turn the TV. It just so happened because she was crying and I'm a compassionate person, I watched her video. Now, when Steve had Monique on his show, she attacked Steve on his show. Oh gosh, you guys, I'm back. I had to cut it out. My son is so funny. He, he had to come in and tell me mm, for that dinner that I made. <laughs> okay, but you guys, you know, she's just doing a disservice to herself and she's making excuses to everybody that she's on an interview from with and <laughs> polio Steve, Steve Harvey, he done lost his show. He probably lost his show for having her hips on his show because when she was on the show, she was talking about uh, how he, she was talking about how he uh, told her something when they were off camera and he told her something differently. So this is the part I wanted to share with you guys because Steve pretty much got her um, 
in check. Um, she says that um, uh, Steve Harvey told her, he said, you know, ain't nothing personal. And this is how he did it. <laughs> this is how he did it. Steve said, ain't nothing personal. He said, this right here, this right here, this is a money game, okay? This is a money game. And basically what Steve was saying to her was, you ain't finna mess up my money with your bum foolery. You can come on this show, but somebody messed up his money because he lost his show. But I did hear some. But Steve told her, this is a money game. So basically what Steve was saying to her was, you ain't coming on here messing up no stuff right here. You, you're just not going to do it. Monique had the nerves to come back and say, but before money should be integrity. And though I wholeheartedly agree with Monique, I think that our integrity for ourselves, our integrity for others should be extremely high. I do also believe that integrity begins within, okay? And you have to have integrity for yourself, okay? You have to have integrity, you have to have the common sense enough to know that everybody is not gonna agree with you. I really honestly believe that Monique is losing her mind. She's putting so much negative into the fact that she's not getting paid while she's wasting time worrying why she's not getting paid the same amount as other people. Other folks is getting paid and she ain't. That's not very wise. Monique has to make up her mind. She either has to go to work and expect accept the pay that they are willing to give her through negotiations, or she just needs to hush. She just needs to be quiet. I feel like Monique is very talented. She is one of my favorite female comedians. She is the funniest. Her and Shamor, uh, Shamor, I think her name is, they are hilarious. I love them. But I bet you Shamor ain't let nobody mess with her dollar. Um, I, for one, am beginning to lose respect for her because of the way that she's behaving. Um, I understand that we need to um, think about our worth. I, I, I believe that. I think that we need to think about our worth. But I also feel like you're either going to do one or two things. And this is with everything in life. You're either going to work and make your money or you're gonna complain and be unemployed. I wish Monique the very best, though Monique is saying that she and her family are suffering as a result of this, yet she continues to produce the negative. She continues to talk about what somebody else said, what somebody else is making, and she continues to attack some of the biggest people in the entertainment industry. And that, my dear, is a big no-no. Thank you so much for tuning into Carol Saley Sauce. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell to be reminded of every video that I upload. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye-bye.